Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying different videos on my channel. So, you know, this video I'm posting after a long duration because uh, I have been getting messages uh, to post videos on different topics. I'll I'll uh, try to post more videos in coming days. So, stay tuned. Uh, okay, let's start with today's topic. Today's topic is uh, what is difference between narrow transformation and wide transformation in spark so let us first understand what is transformation in spark so in one of my other videos i have discussed uh, what are transformations and what are actions so transformations are kind of uh, functions that we apply on rdd which will uh, convert one rdd into another rdd so uh, if you want to generate a new column or if you want to filter some records those are the sum of operations that we do using transformations these are lazy functions they do not get uh, uh, executed until unless you execute a action on a rdd okay now transformations can be of two types narrow transformations and wide transformation so narrow transformations are the transformation in which only one partitions data is required to calculate that partitions result so assume a scenario uh, when you have a table uh, and you have divided it into multiple partitions so table here i am using uh, in the same language as uh, rdd you can assume table as an rdd assume uh, you have a table and uh, you it is divided into four partitions and then you are doing a filter operation on that table so to do a filter operation you don't need uh, data from across the partition so uh, it, it is a uh, you can put a condition that if the value is greater than say 25 then uh, keep the record otherwise reject the record so uh, for this is an operation which will uh, which can be at row based row level itself so uh, you don't need uh, other rows in the same table to calculate the results so these kind of operations are called uh, narrow transformations so one another example of that is uh, map map operation is also a narrow transformation wide transformations are the transformations in which you may need to shuffle data across the partitions so uh, our operations like group by key group by reduce by key uh, aggregate by these are the operations for which you may need to shuffle data across the partitions so these are the operations which are wide transformations so i hope this has uh, uh, this video has clarified your doubts on this topic if you have any questions please post it on uh, the comment section i'll be very happy to answer your questions